Hey everybody, uh, let's talk a little bit about some tips to uh, successfully put together a good sports photo story and really just some good tips on shooting sports in general. Um, sports can be a challenge and I would highly suggest uh, off the bat, one of the things that you do is make sure that you've watched the videos on Gear Talk. Uh, how different types of photojournalism uses different types of equipment uh, and how those pieces of equipment work. We're going to talk about stuff in this lecture today about um, speed, light, aperture, uh, flash, things like that. And you want to make sure you're up on that terminology before you start uh, going out to apply some of the stuff we're going to talk about today. And so you'll need to watch those, uh, those videos. Sports are pretty cool, so let's talk a little bit about sports photography. Um, there are some very simple steps you can do to make better stories as, as a part of this assignment. Uh, as well as just in general, you can take higher quality photos that work really well when we're taking pictures of sports. Um, here's the first one. This one applies to a lot of different kinds of photo assignments, but I think it applies maybe the most to sports, and that is you want to take a whole lot of photographs. You want to be ready with your camera uh, shooting rapidly. I would suggest looking into your camera's what we call burst mode. Um, pretty much every SLR is going to have a burst mode as well as smartphones nowadays are going to have burst mode. Uh, and it is where you, if you hold down the shutter button, if it's uh, an SLR, or if you just hold down the button on the screen that's meant to indicate the shutter on a smartphone, it will just rapidly sort of machine gun fire snaps of pictures. Um, that'll help you make for really good moments. You can also just occasionally do some fun stuff with it, right? So if you are um, taking pictures of a pitcher who is um, uh, on the mound, you can rapid um, sort of a rapid fire shot. You can put them together like this. But this is a, a good example of a burst mode style photography where you're able to get a bunch of shots of the same motion. You can also do some fun Photoshop stuff with it. This is one example of a, a guy doing a jump with a BMX bike. Uh, and they've, this is actually five or different photographs. They've just been layered on top of each other in Photoshop uh, to make this cool effect. The same thing was done with this shot from the Olympics of a uh, two people fencing each other. Um, the overlay makes for a really cool photograph, a really cool photo. At least maybe call this a photo illustration. Uh, so as a heads up, I'm going to use a lot of examples from the last couple Olympics. Uh, the Olympics are notorious for having some of the best sports uh, photojournalism around. As always, it's going to be about the storytelling aspect, right? You're not just trying to put together a series of really cool photos. You're trying to put together a story. Uh, and story is going to have context, and sports is really a great thing for uh, context, right? So what makes this image so powerful and interesting isn't just that it's a baseball player and some microphones. It's that it's one of the best baseball players, Lou Gehrig, retiring uh, and announcing his retirement because of uh, his health condition. Right, the flu game, right, the the, the game where Michael Jordan uh, had uh, had the flu, uh, is sort of one of the notorious uh, sort of famous parts about his past and his history, and so we can view this image and understand why it is so darn important or why it's such a big deal in sports. Make sure you're focusing on the people and the emotional reaction, right? You want to make sure you're telling a full, coherent story as a part of this. Um, much like in writing a really good news feature, uh, one of the goals is going to be to make sure the viewer can feel something. It's going to feel a sense of emotion, feel a sense of, uh, of human element to it, whether it's happiness or sadness or empathy, um, victory or defeat. Um, so this is uh, Gwen um, Jorgensen, if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, I apologize. Uh, at the point when she realized she was going to win the Olympic triathlon, and you get a good sense of the emotion on her face, right? It's such a good, a good piece of storytelling. You can see the ribbon she's going to break as she runs past it. Just a great piece of sports photography. Also from the uh, the last Olympics, uh, the Mongolian wrestling team was so angry they felt that the uh, the judge in the sport had wronged them. Uh, the coaches were so angry that they ripped all their clothes off and stood in the middle of the ring screaming, uh, which of course makes for a really compelling story. Uh, and a really, really great series of photographs. We want to make sure we're getting the things in the shot that help tell the scene, help tell the setting of the story, right? Um, so just like any photo story, you want to make sure you're conveying to the viewer where the story is taking place, geographically, location-wise. Why does this matter to the story? 
Uh, and oftentimes you can use this to help sort of contain, uh, it itself can contain part of the story. So um, this is a very famous photograph of Muhammad Ali. Um, but this is not actually one of my favorite photographs of this, right? This is a good photograph. People buy this in, in poster form. But to me, this is my favorite photograph um, because this is where you get a sense of the media, uh, of just how big of a deal boxing used to be, how big of a deal this fight was. Uh, that just look at the ring of media, the ring of people with typewriters on tables around the boxing ring. Uh, it's just such a great, uh, great piece of uh, photo storytelling because of the context of the setting that you get here. I just won from the last uh, Summer Olympics in Rio. Uh, one of the famous things that happened there is that the outdoor diving pool turned green for reasons people still don't fully understand. And so this gives a good, <laughs> pretty good storytelling of the context of that. Um, I wish, still wish I understood why it turned green. All right, so that's part one. Join me for part two, where we will talk about uh, ideas such as getting close to the action.